Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. I hope you're all doing well. And in today's episode, we're going to be discussing all of the news updates for Series 8 that have just dropped in regards to the online rank ladder system that will be kicking into effect on the 1st of February. As you can see, we got a tweet here from Joe over at Cerebi and just give Joe and Cerebi a, a little follow over on Twitter if you haven't already. If you want up-to-date news, if you want the precise news at the precise time that it comes out Joe is your guide to follow and just a big shout out really because he does help out myself and I'm sure a lot of others out there so here we go into today's episode series eight rules we are coming to the end of series seven which we're currently in now in the rank doubles ladder that's predominantly what we're going to be discussing but the series eight rules there was a lot of kind of talk about what it was going to be was it going to be gs cup were we going to get another ban list but it's been announced that we are going to be getting something very interesting so without further ado let's hop over to Serebi um and we can take a deep dive into what we'll be doing. So as you can see, the rules will come into effect on the 1st of February. They will run until the 30th of April. So we've got a few months of these rules um, and the metagame to develop as well. It will mean that the Players' Cup, the next round of Players' Cup 3, the, uh, the regional heats will be included with this rule set. So this is what the rule set will be for Players' Cup 3. Uh, so those of you that have qualified, obviously you're gonna need to get yourself up to speed on what the rules are. So the, the singles will kind of leave because we are predominantly more of a doubles channel. And this will be concerning the rank doubles uh, ladder going forward from the 1st of Feb when the rules will update. But uh, as you can see, Pokemon restrictions. Available national decks Pokemon, so every Pokemon in the national decks is allowed if they have the Gala mark or battle ready mark. So we know what those are if you're caught in game or if you've been to the guy in uh, the battle tower and got the mark on the Pokemon that's been traded. Uh, Pokemon limits. Now this is where it gets interesting. Team of four to six Pokemon from level one to 100, all Pokemon then set to level 50. We know that already, restricted Pokemon. Here we go. One of the following per team. So you can have a team of all the Pokemon that we were used to using in series seven, but you can also add an additional uh, restricted Pokemon, one of the legendary Pokemon, which is gonna be either one of this next following list, which is Mewtwo, Lugia, Ho-Oh, Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza, Dialga, Palkia, Giratina, Reshiram, Zekrom, Curum, Xerneas, Yveltal, Zygarde, Cosmog, Cosmom, Sogaleo, Lunala, Necrozma, Zacian, Zamazenta, Eternatus, and Calyrex. Wow, okay. Now that's, to, that is, that is a big decision. That is a big shift in the rules because these Pokemon getting introduced, they aren't like, you know, your normal legendaries like Zapdos, Landorus. They, that's a slightly central, centralizing Pokemon. These are restricted Pokemon. These are big hitters. These are big, powerful Pokemon. Uh, we've already had a kind of teaser with an event recently, uh, online event where you were kind of had a similar sort of rule, although you've got two or more restricted Pokemon. So you've had a little fun in the doubles, seeing how they operate there. And these Pokemon are ridiculously powerful. Um, so adding one of them to your, your in-game party now, um, it changes the landscape of the format completely. It's gonna be very interesting going forward. Uh, obviously, going down, we'll just cover all the rules before we get into anything else. Uh, they allowed Gigantamax uh, Pokemon. They're all the same as what they were before. Uh, battle timer is still 20 minutes. Uh, your time, seven minutes. You get 90 seconds uh, team preview and your turn time is 45 seconds. Uh, the eight ranked battle series focus on the Pokemon of the Gala Pokedex, the Isle of Armor Pokedex, the Crown Tundra Pokedex and any other Pokemon obtained in the games it will allow you to utilize restricted legendary Pokemon once in your team. So that is a recap and uh, you can go down and see the restricted Pokemon again. I've went through the list. I'm sure you don't want me to repeat them again, but we can see all their nice pretty sprites here and their typings. These are all the Pokemon that are going to be allowed, which is crazy, crazy, crazy. Ban list, unfortunately, we've not come to the point where we're going to get mythical Pokemon allowed in uh, VG events, even though... A lot of them are already obtainable in the game through special events or whatnot. But uh, one day, my friends, one day we'll be able to use Melmetal and um, Jirachi and friends. But that day we'll have to wait, unfortunately. But yeah, so um, lots lots to talk about in today's episode. Obviously, the restricted Pokemon, um, as I've said, make a big difference to your teams. Um, and uh, you can see here, I think some of the ones to kind of give a big shout out. Well... <laughs> 
it's hard to just give a big shout out to a few of them because all of them are kind of surpassing everything else that we've got already obviously the only ones that can't dynamax are going to be zassian and zamazenta but in their own right they are very strong because of the abilities that they have um obviously the typing as well zassian fairy typing it's the only other fairy typing outside of xerneas and we've seen the impact that xerneas has made in formats before xerneas is going to be one that you're going to have to watch out for as well again a very powerful one a good fairy type something that's been lacking in series 7 really and um, so something that players can rely on that and zassian uh, but you've got things like mewtwo very fast pokemon probably not going to make as much of an impact as, as it may have done in previous formats still nothing to be underestimated but with things like uh you've got dragapult now and you've got spectria speed ties with it the ghost typings do make it a little bit difficult for it i think the same with lugia although lugia now having access to its multi-scale ability definitely gives it uh, a good place in the format that psychic flying type as well is quite nice matching up with the galarian articuno so it's kind of like a little upgrade on there just with a few missing moves and a few other support and options that it's got access to. Now, ho -Oh is a very interesting one. ho -Oh is a Pokemon I love. Fire Flying type as well, with access to its hidden ability, Regenerator, which makes it incredibly strong. Switch it out, you get a bit of HP back and bring it back and cycle it in and out. ho -Oh is just a tank as well, especially if the fairy types uh, like Zacian and uh, Xerneas become quite popular. ho -Oh is one of those Pokemon high, super high special defense stat. Uh, it's going to be able to kind of soak up those fairy type attacks and deal with those Pokemon quite reasonably. And it's got a nice typing as well, you know, the fire and the flying there it's got access to max airstream it's got access to a max flare and a bunch of other options as well that are really useful for a pokemon like this and recovery as well which is not something that is commonly seen throughout these restricted pokemon so yeah ho -Oh, definitely something to look at uh, definitely a bit more reliable for those new players coming in but um you've got to be careful about those rock type attacks and for the next pokemon that we're going to be discussing as well which is kyogre obviously kyogre groudon rayquaza they've been staples in every single format that they've been available in. They're always gonna be used. They bring the sun, the rain, and obviously the airlock to nullify the weathers respectively um so yeah very strong pokemon and the fact that rayquaza still gets access to dragon ascent now uh, which is its primary like its predominant move that it used in previous formats to mega evolve obviously you haven't got the mega evolution mechanic anymore but it still gets access to that really strong 120 base um attack so you know it's it's a very strong pokemon still nothing to scoff at with the airlock ability as well it's good at disrupting opposing weathers and uh, kind of stopping a lot of teams in their tracks Kyogre Groudon there's not really much to say about them we know how good they are as Pokemon the drought and the drizzle ability there and you can slap a scarf on something like Kyogre and it can become very very powerful and you've got access now to that really good combination of Tornadus and Kyogre again the prankster tailwind the uh the fast water spout in the rain it's gonna be nasty and it's gonna be something that players are gonna have to kind of prepare for for sure uh dialga palkia two of my favorites for sure and uh we might be getting new games based around the next three later in this yeah who knows that's a discussion for another time though but uh yeah the steel dragon obviously a really nice pokemon uh water dragon i do like palkia a lot they've got good bulk about them like most of the restricteds do and giratina as well another pokemon i think falls a little astray and a bit more into the camp of the the psychic types where there's a lot of faster ghost types now that will threaten it and give it a bit more of a harder time but doesn't mean to say it can't do well reshiram very good pokemon nice typing with the dragon and fire there zekrom and uh, i am just kind of skipping through these pokemon as we're going because obviously i don't want to keep this video too long it is just a kind of overview of the rules update but uh, it'd be nice to talk about these pokemon as we're going through them i think as well so hopefully you guys are like enjoying this and find it interesting um so yeah you've got the reshiram zekrom curum and you're gonna have the curum variants as well obviously curum black curum white which you can do in game now and then uh the the most famous one of all the one that everyone hates because uh but it hasn't got some of its support and options this time around obviously not all the pokemon are in the the format so we don't have smeagol to uh to help old xerneas out this time with evaltal which is um i don't know is it an upgrade on moltres it's a completely different pokemon it's it's Eveltal's always going to be one of my favorite restricteds as well you know i do like evaltal a lot i still think it's going to have a good impact in the format for sure but again it falls 
full stray of those fairy types that are going to be predominant and uh, I can really see Zacian being one of the most dominant Pokemon used in the format uh, honestly Zygarde a great Pokemon all round great Pokemon great typing as well dragon and ground and it's got that amazing ability where it can go into its its final complete form like good old freezer and uh, just be an absolute pain and coil kind of going to be your most uh, probably seen um, set used on Zygarde Cosmog I don't know about you but we might see a few cosmog and cosmom uh, on some fun teams but probably nothing serious so galeo is an interesting one it's got a really nice typing psychic steel uh, gives it lots of resistances um and against the fairy types as well it could be very good you know uh sun steel strike is it's it's his signature move and it's been good in previous formats where it's been allowed so i can see it being good again in this format uh, lunala is pretty much the same love lunala such a good pokemon across my probably not so much and then we come on to the uh the beasts <laughs> of this game which i think will be used a lot zacian zamazenda zacian definitely going to be used a lot i mean zacian is just an incredible pokemon all around with that ability to boost its attack um and some insane attacking moves which compensate really for the the fact that it cannot dynamax um which is you know they have to make up for that somehow the rest of these restricted pokemon can all dynamax but zassi and zamazenta do not have that ability so they need some sort of compensation for that um and they do have it and i would imagine you're going to see probably more zassi than you are zamazenta but i wouldn't discount ever seeing zamazenta i still think it's a very strong pokemon good option uh eternatus is an interesting one it's the only pokemon poison type or partial poison type restricted pokemon we've got i'm a bit on the fence with how eternatus is going to um perform in this format but it's nice typing we've seen dragon poison types um do well in formats before but it's one that i'm i'm interested in but i'm not really too or fair with how it's going to perform uh so as we go forward i guess we'll find out and then we've got calyrex which we know you know calyrex is just <sighs> crazy pokemon in itself um so that wraps up the rules obviously we've mentioned that the mythicals aren't going to be allowed we've give a brief overview of this but it was just today to give you an update on series 8 dropping on the 1st of february because i'd like to stay on top of these rules updates especially going forward i think it's interesting to talk to them talk through them a little bit just get your heads around them to uh, get you prepared for the 1st of february and obviously i will have a bunch of content coming out in preparation for it we'll be looking at team builds uh, the different will take a depth an in-depth look at these uh, restricted pokemon and take a closer deeper dive into these pokemon before we get to the first of february to hopefully get everyone up to speed as best as possible um with what the format's going to start to look like in the coming weeks but i'm going to round it up there wrap it up there friends thank you so much for tuning in if you like this sort of content please let me know down in the comment section below it's not something i generally do just sit in front of the camera and just talk about these things these news updates but it is something i genuinely like doing and like i said we're not going into too much detail today but we will get into a lot more detail as the weeks come forward and i get a bit more time to spend looking at these individual pokemon and we'll take a real look at what some of them are capable of and what the threats are and how we can uh, go about approaching the new format so we're all on a level playing field going into the first of february right gonna wrap it up there friends have a great rest of your day whatever you're up to and i will uh, i'll catch you all for another episode very soon take care Bye bye